saying? Okay, so I know you got you got into a bit of a spat with my boy Millie's over the stand sample online because yeah. he did a stand sample. Yeah, it wasn't really a, a, a no. It, it was it was yeah. it was nothing like serious. Yeah. It was very innocent. But yeah. yo, you guys got the fucking stand record on this album. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We put it on there. We just got the clearance, man. Shout out to everybody. That was because you got to clear that, that through uh, the Dido chick, right? Man, that's that, like her that, record. That jump, bro. It's not like it's not no easy process. Like it's not just one person. You know what I'm saying? It's not just Dido. All right, it's Ditto. Dido. I, honestly, Dido. I, said, fuck it I think it is Dido. She hasn't been relevant in a very long time, and I, I, I don't even know at this point. <laughs> Respect yeah, to her, it's, man. It's Dido, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it was like a process going through the clearing, but you know what I'm saying? Like, we just recently got the clearance, and perf- it's perfect time for the album. Like, so. What kind of record is it? Are you like redoing this, the the melody? Or is it like, I, I'm like, is they, they doing some turn up shit? Like, what kind of record is it? Yeah, it's like some turn up, and it's like that song, I feel like the world formed that song because. It was like some viral stuff going on when I sung it, and then somebody put on a beat, and then the world just been they like asked playing for that. Yeah, they want that version with the beat. So it was like the world really produced that song. You feel me? So the fan, the fans produced it. Yeah, it the happen. fans produced yeah, that song. Fair. So it's it's just like they wanted it. You know what I'm saying? We did it just like they wanted. It. But we did a verse. Jimmy Jimmy did a verse. We actually had some some people uh, interested in getting on it, and it was I think it'd be a good match. But we're gonna see how it goes. But but it got to be done by April seventh. So however is, it plays out by two April seventh, literally. So <laughs> however it play out, it's gonna play out. But we definitely got that song on there, and yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of excitement around that song. So are y'all even being in Mississippi growing up listening to Eminem? Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, for sure, for sure. Really? No, nah, nah, that was definitely my favorite rapper. Like, it's not like a thing where I used to like go on and like I play that Eminem. It's just like. Our parents and stuff was playing it, like VH1 was playing it, you know what I'm saying? We watched TV, the media outlets we had at the time. I'm speaking that's, for myself. That's what I we had. Was, I yeah, was I'm, I'm speaking for, I'm I'm speaking for myself, gang. Yeah. You were fucking with MJ. Man, I'm speaking for myself, too. I used to do it. Hi, my, I'm speaking for myself. The way he was rapping was crazy. I used to like the way he yeah. rapped. I used to try to rap like him at one point in time in my life, you know what I'm saying? Where are those damn. songs now? Oh, uh, no. Because <laughs> we got to hear those. I was young. I don't even know how young I was, but I definitely was, man, I was super Eminem fan, especially when we had the video where it was like 100 of him. That oh, was, yeah, the real Slim Shady. He was real controversial. Yeah, He was tight. Yeah, he was like all over MTV, too, at the time. It was like you couldn't watch MTV and not see Eminem on TRL. Yeah, yeah. And all that shit. Down. It's Sparks Davis on the check-in, and we got Ray Shrummer on the Bootleg Cab Show, where they talk about their upcoming song that uses the same sample as Eminem's Dear Stan. Not too long ago, there's a rapper based out of Boston that signed a Jadakiss named Millsy. He had put out a single recently using the same exact Eminem stand sample that, you know, M used for his record. And for anybody that knows, Ray Shremert knows that, you know, back in, I want to say like in the fall, you know, they had dropped a freestyle, a vocal freestyle, you know, like a little melody to that same exact sample. Had fans, including myself, like, yo, when y'all going to drop that, make an official version of it. And, you know, the uh, outroar in the comments is loud enough for, you know, to get back to him. And, hey, look, got an official song from him. But since, you know, in Millsy's interview, he said since they he released his version, that kind of forced Ray Shremert to have to put theirs out kind of thing. But if y'all notice, they don't really mention dude too much. I mean, he is up and coming. So, you know, when you're a big dog, you don't want to get the little dog shine and all that. Actually... I'm starting to grow on Mel Z for real. I ain't gonna say I'm a Mel Z fan. I definitely like dude. Like, you know, I check his interviews. He seemed like a cool dude, but his music's just not connecting with me like that. Not to say that it's bad. It's just not, it's just not like hitting for me yet. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if I keep listening to him, you'll grow on me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I listen to a full blown project neither. For real, for real. I only heard like freestyles and a couple videos he did and whatnot. But yeah. And you know, Bootleg Kev also brings up Eminem. You see your dude try to be like, nah, I ain't really. And then his brother came out like, yo, nah, we we mess with him. You know, the same way back when I was a kid, that whole hi my name is when it came out, it took over by storm. It was over. I'd have been like nine years old back then. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.